this video we will demonstrate how to plan implants, design both a surgical guide and a screw retained crown, plus produce it all in the same in-house workflow using 3Shape Implant Studio. It allows you to produce a temporary restoration that can be loaded immediately after surgery. Start by defining the order by selecting the Implant Planning and Surgical Guide, plus order a screw retained crown. Import surface and CT scans. Optionally, you can also add an antagonist scan. Place the crown in the correct position, and based on your experience, for optimal aesthetics, then adjust to match the desired design of the anatomy visible above the gingiva. All required design tools are available here. In this step, we recommend you complete the design of the crown visible above gingiva, so that it would look like the visible part of the final restoration. When done, go to the next step. Once you have finished your prosthetic design, you can crop the scan if necessary. And after doing that, go to the panoramic curve step. The software will propose panoramic curve. Check it, adjust if needed, and go to the scan alignment step. At the scan alignment step, the surface scan will automatically be merged with the CT scan. The combination of the CT and surface scans gives the full insight into the clinical situation and the benefits from the highly accurate TRIO scan. Consult the difference map to check the scan alignment. If you are satisfied with the alignment, confirm it and go to the implant planning step. Choose an implant from the implants list. It will automatically be placed according to the virtual crown position. Adjust the placement manually. Draw an outline for the surgical guide by choosing the green plus. Finalize your guide by adding support bars, viewing windows, and an ID tag. When that's done, move to the next step. Once the implant planning and surgical guide design are approved, you'll be able to proceed to the next step. The emergence profile is initialized automatically. The emergence profile should be adjusted to give the shape of the gingiva desired after the surgery. First, you need to select a suitable titanium base. The given options are only the ones that fit the implant selected during the planning. The emergence profile should then be adjusted to give exactly the desired shape, considering the clinical situation and the virtual crown that it will connect with. The emergence profile can easily be adjusted by the blue control points, while you're visually guided by the cross-section of the gingiva and the crown. The green line and all the blue control points can be moved up and down by dragging the middle green point or the green line itself. Holding the control button down will allow you to move all points in reference to the implant axis. View it from above to ensure that the emergence profile has a shape that fits the shape of the crown with which it should connect. If the profile cut mode is selected, then the scan is placed in a position with the camera view directly perpendicular to the implant axis and in reference to one of the points. A point is now active and shown in orange. Any point can be activated by clicking it, and the scan can be rotated by using the blue arrows or by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. The curvature of the emergence profile can easily be adjusted by the slider. If a point is active, then it would only change the curvature below that point, and otherwise the curvature of the entire profile. When you hover your mouse cursor over a specific point, then you can use the mouse wheel to adjust the curvature below that point. The entire profile can be adjusted too when scrolling the mouse wheel while hovering the cursor over the green line. Please remember you can return to the initial auto proposal for the emergence profile at any time by clicking the auto button. In the next step, the crown and the emergence profile are merged to become the full restoration that can be fine adjusted 
with the available Anatomy Design tool. The emergence profile can be protected or unlocked. The protected surface is visualized on the restoration. Click Next to inspect the final restoration. Here, the screw hole diameter can be adjusted. When you are satisfied and ready to produce it, click the Next button. In the Save step, your surgical report, drilling protocol and STL files will be outputted to your selected output folder, so you can easily export and import the guide and screw-retained crown design to your preferred 3D printer or milling machine for manufacturing. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the full implant placement and screw-retained crown workflow, with in-house production of both surgical guide and final restoration with 3Shape Implant Studio. Thank you for watching.